Marks and Spencer boss Mark Bolland needs to make big strides in 2014 if he wants to keep his job. Since becoming CEO in 2010, he's revamped stores and hired fresh talent. Despite his efforts, underlying general merchandise sales at the UK's largest clothing retailer have fallen 10 quarters in a row. Richard Perks is from retail analysts Mintel. The problem for m and is, is the women's wear, uh, not the food that's been going well. And in women's wear, he's got these segmented brands, the range is split up, but they just look too similar. A new women's wear team, including style director Belinda Earle, managed to steal a small amount of market share in the third quarter of 2013. But warm weather and excessive pre-Christmas discounting across the high street forced m and to follow suit, damaging margins. Bolland's three-year strategic plan to address decades of underinvestment and transform M&S into an international multi-channel retailer has been scaled back to achieve sales of between £10.8 billion and £11.4 billion by March. Some analysts claim this target looks ambitious. Plus, annual profits are expected to fall for a third consecutive time to £628 million. That's 18% less than a decade ago and for the first time ever, less than the annual profit made by Next. Investors have taken note. Starmind shows Next scores an almost perfect ARM score, 98 out of 100, which suggests very strong analyst sentiment towards the stock. m and has a low ARM score of 39, suggesting any future upward analyst revisions are unlikely. Although m and shares rose 25% last year, Starmine's return on net operating assets shows a trend of deteriorating performance. If Bolland doesn't deliver when the group releases full-year numbers in May, he may have to offer cash returns to keep shareholders happy. A cash back is a short-term solution, and what good is that going to do? The key is the business itself. He's got to make that business perform, and anyone who buys m and for a cash back is just a fool. Bolland could get a helping hand from an improving UK economy, with wages finally starting to outpace inflation. m and is also launching a new web platform in May and a new e-commerce hub to boost online sales. International revenue should also begin to accelerate given a pipeline of nearly 150 store openings by 2018. Plus, the group's food business is expected to continue to shine. However, it's the clothing on the catwalk and whether or not it will draw shoppers into the stores that will ultimately seal Bolland's fate.